not getting where the pressure is coming. So here is the flexor muscle. Yeah, where the pressure is coming. Move your wrist. Yes. Where the pressure is coming. Now do it. Do the motion again. Where you were feeling the pressure before. capturing your all tendons. But how this retina <coughs> is getting affected? Over repetitive compression of the flexor muscles. Right? So the treatment should be, the major treatment should be over here. But surgeons used to make the mistake, they cut off the region and they just pull one finger and take off the median nerve. The CTS surgery is very easy, you have to just make a cut over here and just take on the, like you have to know the where is the nerve is, you have to differentiate the nerve and the tendon. Tendon looks slightly white, your nerve looks slightly yellow, like it mentioned in the book. So we'll take the nerve, sorry, take the tendon, sorry, but take the nerve and pull it. This is the surgery for CTS. That is also wrong, I've seen a lot of patients, they come to physio again. So I got, I have gone through the surgery, I got the pain again. Surgeon used to write ultrasound and wrist mobilization. Where is the origin of the injury? Relax the flexor muscles. There will be a ease in the movement and automatically your carpal bones are having the optimum space so that nerve can glide in between easily. Right? Am I right? Nerve used to glide between the carpal bones. But if the tendon pressure is not there, easily your bones will also get settled into a same space. So lengthening of this region first means ICM has to be done first. Later you are dry needling into the flexor carpi, ulnaris, palmaris longus and radialis. After that, cupping should be done. Whatever injury you have made. What sir? Will you give time between electrotherapy and MFR? Would you do continuously? Mm -hmm. Then why you have to need time in this? Yes, sir. Okay, sir. No, like why you need a time? It's advanced. So this is the GT. So here you can go with the bilateral cup application. And you can move the cups laterally away from the center line because the center line is very thick. You should move the cups away. Right? This helps you to increase the blood supply in IT band for IT band syndrome. Bend the knee. Next, which muscle is this? Realis. Anterior? Posterior anterior ke bilkul piche hoti hai. Anterior aage hoti hai. Bolo tuhara. Soleus. It's a soleus muscle. Over exertion of soleus muscle actually leads to medial chest pain. Agar koi running karta hai kuch bhi. Tos ek baar aise press karo. Aisa hi sign aega. Jump sign aega. Proper. Inko hai. Inki soleus achi khasi tight hai. Ya to walk karte hai. Ya to pura din khade rahte hai. Koi na koi cheez hai. इतना प्रेस करते पेशेंट बेड से उछल जाता है दो फुट तक इतना पेन होता है बिकॉज ऑफ द एक्सर्शन ऑफ सोलियस आके एक बार चेक करो सोलियस साइड कितनी है ये तो किस पे होगी आके कोई भी एक बार चेक करो टाइट है सोलियस देखो बिकॉज ऑफ द सोलियस अब यहां पे क्या करेंगे हम वेट कर देंगे भूल जाओ लोअर लिप में जितनी कंडीशन बता रहा हूं सब में वेट कर कोई डाउन वाली बात नहीं है बेट करोगे ज्यादा फायदा देगा ये मेरी गारंटी है 
half of the shell first lower soleus then we have upper soleus wet cupping has to be done only once in a week because in a week time body requires the time to recover itself body requires more minerals body requires amino acid to heal the muscle so same area if i am treating today this area if i have to treat this area again i have to wait for 7 days if i have to treat i have treated this area today and i have to treat this region how much time i can take 3 days different area 3 days same area 7 days clear put the patient on multivitamin before the wet cupping check their blood clotting time like bleeding time clotting time everything you can put a oximeter also if they have any heart related disorder you can put the oximeter on their finger or you can do if you do any treatment you can put a oximeter people will think that doctor is doing something scientific nothing else if you are doing wet cupping then only it is required otherwise there is no problem oxygen concentration should be up and down during the treatment if he has a fear definitely his oxygen concentration will go down right go into some ghost house or maybe the movie came what was nanpur conjuring 2 see that movie wearing the oximeter you will also find whenever you have a fear of anything the oxygen concentration automatically goes down your lung shrink automatically right so that's not a major problem check the blood pressure hb uric acid these are the few basic things which you can check it will make your procedure more scientific you will be bit clear to take the session because wet cupping aisa to hai nahi 200 400 ka kaam hai 1500 2000 is the minimum fee side thing which you can charge it's a surgical procedure don't let it do for like 100 200 rupees it's a good treatment it will give you like good thing approach gym gym people are eager to take the wet cupping session because they know this thing their muscles are creating a lot of toxin in between them when they care about this when their muscle growth stops if your muscle has a toxin it is not getting the blood supply will there be a muscle growth definitely no so gym people know this thing very clear that we have to go and get wet cup we have to take out the toxin then only our muscle will be increasing and this is their goal only right so if you are approaching gym 